and gentlemen, my name is Sam. Today I'll be doing another episode of Sam Talks, the weekly series where I talk about what I want to talk about or what you leave in the comments below. So if you wish to uh, give me a topic, I guess you could leave it in the comments below and let me know. So let's get going. T today the topic is going to be YouTube. Um, YouTube as just a general topic. We're going to talk about it today and hopefully you guys enjoy. Alright, so first of all, the gameplay in the background is a ultra rapid fire uh, game of League of Legends. Um, it's a new game mode they added in for April Fools um, that is kind of fun it's really fun actually and i hope you guys enjoy all right let's get going so youtube it is a site where you get to post videos um anybody can post videos to youtube um for those of you that don't know it's actually owned by google and um yeah it's a pretty big deal now um the site was launched in 2006 i think by some indie guys in uh, california and um, it got bought up by google for a hefty amount i don't really remember how much but yeah, it was a pretty big deal when it was bought out because people um, were really, people really liked it. Um, pe people really liked the site as it was and they were scared that Google was going to change it. And Google really did change it. I'm not really going to get into that because a lot of people have done videos on how Google's ruining YouTube and all that stuff. But I'm not going to get into that because um, it's really not that. It's just kind of a circle jerk. Just people saying, oh, I hate Google and then saying, oh, Google's doing good. Google's doing bad. It's just, you know what? I'm just not going to talk about it. Um, it's a really revolutionary site because it's really the biggest video sharing site on the in, on the web. Um, now it's anybody can post on there too. It's completely free, and it's free to watch, free to uh, upload, and um, you can actually make money on YouTube as well. People have gone to YouTube and they actually have make it their job. A lot of people have YouTube as their job actually, and it is a really promising career now. A lot of people can actually make. Uh, money doing YouTube, um, which is great. It's an amazing medium because it skips the whole Hollywood. You get to make your own content, your own media that you want to make. You are your boss and YouTube pays you for whatever ads that you post on your videos and how much money you make off of them. It's a really great service. It's really, really cool. And I even use YouTube, as you probably know. I'm posting videos on here. I've been posting for about five or six months now. So yeah, it's a really, really great site. It's an awesome place for people, just a community, to get together and um, to just have a good time and post videos and share opinions. Now, you guys probably already know that, but I am a big fan of YouTube. I love YouTube dearly. It is one of the sites that I visit the most. I've been visiting YouTube for four or five years now. I've been just watching a ton of videos. Um, my subscriber box gets bigger and bigger because I just subscribe to more and more channels. Um, I really like to support people on YouTube as well. Like I like to watch up and coming YouTubers and see how they grow. It's really great. And I also watch the big guys like PewDiePie and all of them. But there's a really big topic that a lot of people talk about. It's the whole thing of doing YouTube just for money and how that's bad. And I'm going to talk about how it's not. Now, I don't do YouTube just for money. I don't even monetize my videos yet. I am doing this for fun. I'm doing this for myself, for self-fulfillment, yada, yada, yada. You don't really care. But... A lot of people, people are say, are sellouts or they are money whores. But I'm going to talk about how that's not really true. Now, there's a difference between a sellout and somebody who does YouTube as a living. Somebody who does YouTube as a living is somebody who does this for their job. They make YouTube videos because they need to make money. They might enjoy it, they might not enjoy it, but they do it because it's their job and they make money doing it. Would you say the lawyer is a money whore even if he doesn't like his job? No, you wouldn't. Now, the guy that's doing YouTube, he might not like his job, but he still gets a lot of views, so he does it. That's not a money whore. That is somebody that's making money to keep themselves alive. A money whore or a sellout, I'll keep to the word sellout because it's a lot more more tasteful. Anyways, so the sellout um, is somebody that's kind of, it's like really greedy, right? Who puts ads on all their videos, in video ads, takes all the sponsorship offers, um, kind of like sleazy, like kind of like doesn't tell you the whole story. Um, really like like the whole machinima thing where they were, weren't supposed to tell um, the audience that they were paid that's really a sellout thing because you're like selling yourself out to for your dignity you are no you don't no longer have dignity because you are not telling your audience everything um, but then taking a job offer as saying promoting Titanfall but you say oh this I've been paid to say this about Titanfall so take my opinion as you want that's not being a sellout. Being a sellout is somebody that is not being honest, but taking people's money and putting the, your, their opinion into your head. That is a sellout. And that is bad because that corrupts YouTube. And I, I don't like that. 
Now, a lot of people don't like that, but a lot of people don't care, which is, it's fine. I mean, if you don't care about it, power to you. Watch the channels that are sellouts. But I honestly don't really like sellouts because it, it really changes your state of mind. Really, they really push uh, one opinion at you, even though it might not be my opinion. So it's really, um, it really changes your state of mind. Now, that is not the only thing that people say, like YouTubers are only in it for the money. They also do have the argument that, if YouTubers don't enjoy it, but I already said that if they don't enjoy it, they are doing it to keep themselves alive, and that's fine. There's a lot of people in this world that don't like their jobs. We don't don't call them sellouts. So the people that are on YouTube are not money whores. Um, yeah, my experience with YouTube. I've been watching YouTube for years. I have been like people on YouTube. I've felt like I've had a first personal con connection with them, even though I've never actually met them. It's very great. You can really see somebody's life, see somebody's um, experiences. You can really like, learn to like somebody, learn to feel like you understand the person's problems, and you can really relate with people. There's people on YouTube that you can really relate with, and it's a great source of medium. Because like on Tumblr or on Facebook or Twitter, you can't really relate as much because it's not video. You don't see the person. It's just like little tweets or little uh, blogs. It's not really the same thing. You Videos on YouTube, it, you get to see the person. You get to see what they're living. You get to see what they're playing. And you get to join a community like the video games community, the music community, the skit community, or like the drama community, or um, just there's a whole lot of communities on YouTube and it's a really great hub for people to get together. Anyways, so this was my little rant about YouTube. If you guys have anything else to add, I mean, leave it in the comments below. And um, if you want to give me a uh, topic for next week, leave it in the comments below as well. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you guys next time.